Hi, I'm Stacy. I've got a strength and coordination express workout for you. So this one today is one of my favorite styles. It's so functional. Everything is a combo move. We're going to work our strength and coordination and get muscles working together, which is so functional for everyday life. Um, it's express because we're going to hit it hard, but quick, nothing repeats. We don't um, cycle through and do rounds. It's just one move on to the next, no repeat style. So are you ready? Let's go grab some dumbbells. I'm going to have uh, 10s, 12s, and 15s, but use what you have, um, adjust as needed. That's just for reference for you. I'm starting with 12s. You wanna be warmed up. If you're not warmed up, go warm up. I have some warm ups you can follow if you're not sure what to do. All right. Now I'm trusting that you're warm. We're gonna start with a reverse lunge with a hammer curl, press. So palms are in. You step back into that lunge, hammer curl, rotate as you press, bring it back down, and then step it in, hit the other side. We'll alternate every time. Are you ready? Let's go. Lunge, rotation, press, in. So on that curl, you're coming all the way down out of it, arms extend. On the press, same thing, full extension, rotating those palms. In, rotate. Hold that lunge nice and low as you press. It's a static hold for that lower body. Woo, breathing. Don't hold your breath. Just remember, one time through. So when we're done with this one, we'll never do it again. Not for this workout. This is one of my favorite combo moves. Hammer curl, press, whew, three more each side. Get that full extension. Two more. Deep lunge in that hold. Hold it. Last one, all the way up, whew. And set them down. You might want to go to a lighter weight. For this one, only one dumbbell. I'm going down two pounds, down to a 10. All right, some coordination and strength involved, one side at a time. We're going to hit a wide tricep extension with a leg lift. Yes, if you would like to grab a chair, something in front of you to rest your hand on for balance, do that. Why am I so out of breath? All right, are we ready? So start at the back, and as you extend, lift that leg. Yes, you might wobble a little bit, that's okay. Pat your head, rub your tummy kind of stuff, right? Woo, we just have 12 each side. Halfway there. Give me six more. Control on the way down. Let's go. Three, two, one. Switch it out. All right, find your balance. Soft bend in that supporting leg. If you wanna leave the lift out of it, just focus on upper body, that's fine too. You always have options. Ready? Give me 12. Lift and lower. Just do the same thing on both sides. Here's number six, halfway there. Squeeze glutes and outer thighs on that lift. Four, three, two, one, whoo. Do you notice those obliques getting some work? You have to really engage to stabilize. That's why I love combo moves. So many things working together. All right, I'm gonna keep this weight. Step nice and wide. We have three parts. All right, so lunge, side lunge, reach, come up, and as you press, shift your weight to this leg, because then we're gonna crunch it in. You rotate your palm, crunch, extend. Then you step wide again, come up. You got it? It's a lot. All right, one side to go, one side at a time. <laughs> nice wide lunge, 
Let's go, reach, one more pull. Reach, rotate, crunch, and take it wide. Down, reach, get that hair out of your mouth. Whew. Down, all control. Yes, you can take this slower than me if you want. A little bit faster if you want. We don't have to be at the exact same pace. You just wanna find control. Make sure you're moving with muscle, no momentum. As you press up out of that lunge, shift your weight. You press, shift. Ooh, halfway there. Nice, wide lunge. Four more on this side. Then we'll hit the other side. Oh, shoulders are feeling that. Come on, two more. Make it count. Give it all you got. One. Whew. Crunch. Lower with control. Roll it out. We're ready for the other side. I don't know why I started with my strong side. <laughs> my left side is not as coordinated. All right. Same thing, wide lunge, push off to shift that weight for the crunch. Ready? Let's go. Lunge, reach, reach, crunch, reach, crunch. Yes, it feels a little awkward, not gonna lie. My coordination is not good on this side. Whew. Here's number four. Do you like knowing where we're at? There's an end in sight. Hey, pretty nice to have a no repeat workout sometimes, right? You get it done, you're on to the next thing. Crunch, use your core. I want your abs engaged. Ooh, five more. Get deep into that lunge also. Don't go down half-hearted, reach. Yes. Whew. Last three. Come on. Two. Heart rate is getting up as well because of the quick movements. Whew. So, last one. Cardio health as well. All right. Breathing heavy. What do we have next? We have a squat side press. 10 might be a little heavy for this. I'm gonna try with 10s. I might jump down a little weight in this, we'll see. So, I'm not gonna waste my energy on the demo. It's a squat, feet are hip width or a little wider apart. Press through those heels. We're gonna pull in with the weight as we squat. As you come up, press through your heels, engage, squeeze hamstrings and glutes, and then take your arms wide for a side press. All right, so in. Press, chin and chest stays lifted, weight stays in the heels, you should be able to wiggle your toes, okay? Come down into that squat. If you can't wiggle your toes, shift that weight to the back of your heel. That's all I can stall. We have to actually do the work now. <laughs> Are you ready? Get set up, weight in the heels, come down, let's go. Squat, side press. Ooh, yes, it's heavy. The reason I'm going heavier here is because we have one round. If we had three rounds, I would for sure drop down in the weights. We have one round. We're gonna hit it hard. You wanna feel like those last couple of reps are a real challenge. Like you can do it, but you don't want to. <laughs> right? Whew. Five more. Press through your heels. Squeeze those glutes and hamstrings on the rise. Inhale, exhale, two, one. Ah, yes. All right, we're gonna go heavier. This is where, let me see, only two workouts with the heaviest set of dumbbells. This is one of them. I'm gonna try 15. Like I said, challenge yourself. You might wanna go a little heavier than you normally would because we only have one round. Man, I'm annoying myself with my out of breathness. What is up? Okay, we have a Romanian deadlift. Please pay attention to the form. So, 
Slight bend in your knees. You are shifting your hips back. So palms are in. You hug the body as you lean. You don't bend too much more here. Just keep that soft, comfortable bend. Send your hips back. And then you rise, hips come back in. Now, of course, it's a combo. So we have RDL at the bottom. I want you to hit a wide row right out here in line with your shoulders. Wide row. As we come up, upright row. All right, then back down, keeping that soft bend in the knees. Are you ready? Press through those heels, soft bend in the knees. Let's go. Down, wide row, up, upright row. Again, down, press through those heels, squeeze glutes and hamstrings, up, yes, wide, upright. Whew. Just gonna show you from the side. Yes, down, hips go back, send those hips back, bring them in, upright row, send them back, wide, Bring the hips in, upright. Squeezing those glutes and hamstrings. Let's go. Here's number six. Halfway there. If you need to adjust the weight, you're not married to the first decision you make. Go heavier, go lighter. You wanna make sure you are properly challenged. I keep hitting the mic, I'm sorry. You wanna feel challenged, but you wanna be able to complete the move without momentum. Three, almost there, two, one, let's go, wide row, upright, Whew. set them down, set those heavier weights aside for a little while, we are coming to the mat for the last three moves, so I'm going to grab uh, 12s again, you only need one to start. Last four moves, my bad. All right, so we are in quadruped, but all the weight is in one palm and then the opposite leg. So I am shooting one leg back. The opposite arm hand is grabbing the dumbbell. This is a narrow row. I want you to hug the body and lift that leg at the same time, okay? So palm in, hug the body, row, lift, lower. Are you ready? 12 each side. Let's go. Up, down. Whew. Here's number six. We're halfway there, then we switch sides. Find control, especially in that leg, lower with control. Four more. Two, one. All right, switch it out. That weight goes to the opposite hand. Opposite leg is back. So the lifting leg, the pulling arm are opposite. Are you ready? Let's go. Lift, lower, lift, lower. You need to keep your core engaged. Brace your core like you're about to get punched in the stomach. That's the kind of engagement you want. Nice and tight. Six more. Give me that control. Four. Three. Oh my goodness. Two. <sighs> One. Whew. Shake it out. Now, let's see how I feel <laughs> about this weight. I'm gonna try to stick with 12. The weight is gonna go behind our knee. We have a killer glutes move, but we're gonna add that combo because this is all about combos. So, squeeze that weight tight. If you can't squeeze it tight enough, lower the weight. You wanna squeeze it and have that control. You lift, 
Hold that lift. Time under tension. Drop your forearms down, up, and then you lower, lift. You know, I'm second guessing myself. I'm gonna go to a 12 pounder. I don't wanna drop the weight and, we're, and risk smashing anything. All right, this feels better. It's still gonna be a challenge, so grip that weight, squeeze it. You can go no weight at all with this. It's up to you. Whatever, whatever you have, weight, no weight, bend and squeeze, let's go. Lift, drop, lower, and down. Lift, forearm drop. In that forearm drop, we are just keeping time under tension, holding that weight, squeezing, keeping that engagement. Oh man, I'm glad I lowered that weight. Yes, oh my goodness, halfway there. You got it, we got it. <laughs> I'm telling myself, come on, three more reps. Woo! Two, last one, you got it. Oh, and bring it down, oh my goodness. Huh. Got a little shaky on that last one. Switching sides. Remember, there's no wrong answer to your workout. If you choose to use that weight, not use the weight, use a very light weight. I've got knee pit sweat, so hopefully that's not too slippery. Squeeze it. Let's give this side the same we gave the other side. Are you ready? Let's go. Lift, forearm drop, and lower. You can do it. We just have two moves after this. And guess what? You get to lie down. We are coming to our backs. So push yourself here. We're so close. Here's number six. That means halfway there. You can do it. Embrace the shake. If you start to worry you're gonna drop that weight, ditch the weight for the last few reps. Totally an acceptable option. Four, count it with me, three, two, last one, you got this, lift, oh yeah, lower it down, man, whew, gotta challenge yourself. All right, we're gonna come to our back. We have a skull crusher heel tap combo. I'm grabbing those 12s again. You do what works for you. Now, I'm gonna give you a tip for both. For the heel tap, you want, now we're working lower abdominals here. You want to keep your low back pressed to the mat. So, further is gonna be more of a challenge, but if your back is popping up, you've gone too far. You can keep it in a little closer. You can also alternate and tap one heel at a time. Skull crusher, palms are in, and we are just coming down and up. Nice, narrow hold. Don't hit yourself in the head. It always looks on video like I'm gonna hit myself in the head, but I've got plenty of room, I promise. So, feet up, we're gonna tap our heels, bring our hands in for the skull crusher at the same time. Remember, close to the body, far from the body, or alternate. It's up to you, let's go. Down up, low back, pressing into the mat. If that means your heels come closer, that's okay. If that means you tap one at a time, that's okay. Whew. One more move after this. You are doing something great for your body today. Building strength, getting the heart rate up, increasing that muscular coordination so good, three, two, last one, come on, one, whoo, all right, we are coming to a chest press, no legs are involved, you're just gonna plant your feet, you can keep that same weight, if you wanted to go a little bit heavier, our chest is strong, you probably can go a little heavier, so, let me grab my dumbbells and then I'm gonna show you. It's combos, so it's not just a chest press. 
All right. Come back down. Remember, feet stay planted. I want you to press and rotate. Hold. These are two separate moves. Then you crunch. Lift those shoulders. Lower down. And then open back up. All right. Are you ready? Let's go. Press. Crunch. Lower. I want you to exhale here. Big exhale. Keep it going. <sighs> Inhale to load it back up. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale. All right. Keep that going. You don't have to lift very high. If you can just get those shoulder blades a little bit up off of that mat, that's what we're going for. All right. Here's number six. Halfway there of the very last move. You got this. Finish strong. Let's finish strong together. Come on, just four more. Let's go. Three. Two. Last one. Oh, bring it down. Now, without being on a bench, we didn't get as much range of motion as I'd like, but guess what? Your biceps got a bonus workout there. <sighs> Always a little bonus work with combo moves. We are done. Now, hope your hair is as sweaty and sticky as mine. I hope you got a great workout. Please subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. Share my channel with others. Um, please be sure also to stretch. If you don't know what to do, I have stretch videos you can follow. It's a really big part of muscle recovery. So after we work, then we stretch, send oxygen back to all those muscles. We can recover faster and be ready to do it all again soon. All right, have a great day.